Lesson 12.2, classify and count by shape. We classify and count objects by shape by putting all objects of one shape into a category and the other shapes into another category. When we classify objects, we sort them into different sets by following a rule. We can classify objects by their shape. Here we have a set of triangle and not triangle. We can sort these by their shape following the rule that all triangles go on the left and all not triangles go on the right. A triangle has three sides and three vertices. So remember, vertices are corners. So it's going to have three sides and three corners. Is this shape a triangle? It has one, two, three sides and one, two, three corners. Yes, that's a triangle. Is this a triangle? No, that's a circle. It's round. It has a curve. Is this a triangle? It has one, two, three, four, five sides. No, that has too many sides. That's not a triangle. That's a pentagon. Is this a triangle? It has one, two, three, four sides and four square corners. That's too many sides and that's too many corners. That's a rectangle. That's not a triangle. Is this a triangle? What do you think? If you said yes, you're right. We can leave it on this side for triangle. Is this a triangle? That's a circle, isn't it? That's not a triangle. It can go over here with not triangle. Is this a triangle? It has one, two, three, four sides. No, it has too many sides. This can go with not triangle. We have two that are triangles, and we have one, two, three, four, five that are not triangles. A category is a group or set. We can sort and classify these objects into different categories by their shape. Here we have four categories of shape. We have circle, square, triangle, and rectangle. Circles have curves. They're round. We can put the circles into the circle category. There's a circle, and here's a circle. Squares have four straight sides that are the same length and four square corners. Do you see squares? Here's one. That's a square. And here's another one. That's a square. Put the squares into the square category. We need to put triangles in this set. This has three sides and three vertices. It's a triangle. Where would this go? It has four sides and four square corners. This is a rectangle. And here we have another triangle. We put each object into their correct shape category, which means we put them into their shape group or their shape set. And their color doesn't matter, only their shape is important. This is the number two. We need to circle all the categories, all the sets that have two shapes. There's two circles. We can circle this one. There's two squares. We can circle this one. That is two in the category. And here's two triangles. We can circle this one. How many categories did we circle? We need to write how many categories we found that had two in each category. 
there are one, two, three that have two in them. We can write the number three. Three categories had two in them. These shapes are classified into two categories. We have a category here and a category here. Can you see what the categories are? Do you see what these have in common? If you said they're all circles, you're right. This is a category of circle. And there are no circles in this category. This is not circle. How many circles are in the circle category? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. We can write the number four. There are four circles. And how many shapes are in the not circle category? One, two, three, four, five, six. We can write the number six. There are six in the not circle category. Their colors were not important. What was important was their shape because we're sorting them and classifying them by shape. When we classify, we sort. A category is a set or group. And shapes, we have circle, square, triangle, rectangle. Our next lesson, 12.3, we're going to classify and count by size. I hope you'll join me. I hope you have a really nice day, and I hope you hit the like button. Bye.